Ok guys, we're here today with Giancarlo Bodoni, huge honor for me. Guys, Giancarlo has been teaching on my school in the last few months and he just competed the World's No Gi this last weekend and he won his division in the Brown Belt Adult and he got third place in the Open class, so he got an amazing performance. He's a student of Lucas Lepre and he has a very similar game to Lucas, so you guys can imagine like how good he is. And he, we just shot an entire structure with him, all about submissions from close guard. So today Giancarlo is going to show us here how he does his arm bar, which is a very simple and efficient arm bar from close guard. And I'm very excited to learn from him. Oh, those guys. Guys, so um, the arm bar uh, inside the close guard, like Bernardo said, is like one of the most simple techniques. But I find like a lot of people don't really hit this technique that often. And uh, the reason why is like some people make some little basic mistakes that allow you to lose the arm that make you lose the arm bar allow, allow allow your opponent to escape so what I like to do first is a lot of times if we're in close guard the guy's gonna make a grip like on my collar so I want to try to break his grip first okay so whichever arm that I'm gonna attack I'm gonna break the grip so let's say I'm gonna attack Bernardo's right arm I'm gonna come here to the side okay I'm gonna turn my body like so and I'm gonna extend my arms and break his grip okay very simple so when I extend my arms at the same time I'm gonna posture up and break his grip like this okay so now what I like to do is I like to bring my elbow uh, down like so so I kind of turn my palm facing up and then this hands gonna come underneath start looking for the tricep okay when I grab my partner's tricep I want to try to grab as high as I possibly can okay so instead of grabbing close to the elbow where then sometimes because if I grab too low on the elbow and then when I start to pull and he starts to pull back it may start to slip a little bit and then I lose the arm so I like to grab all the way around on the tricep. So when I start to pull and he starts to pull back, I can kind of lock in place, okay? So I kind of catch more on the tricep and then I close my elbow here, make sure that I get my partner's uh, elbow on the center of my body, okay? Now when I come here, the same side that I'm controlling the arm, I'm gonna put the foot on the hips, okay? But instead of just putting my foot on the hips and keeping my foot, my leg relaxed, I wanna make sure that I pinch Okay, my elbow, or I pinch my knee on my partner's shoulder, okay, making it very tight on his, on his, uh, on his shoulder. So I wanna make sure that I get this as tight as possible. I pinch, I kind of raise my hips and I pinch here, okay? So now his elbow's gonna have a much harder time sliding out. And then this hand here, I'm gonna come to the opposite shoulder, okay? So now look, the key detail in the arm bar is gonna be this leg over here, okay? So this is what a lot of people mistake on. One, when I start to go, I. To, when I start to raise this leg, I wanna make sure that I do not escape my hips. So sometimes people will start doing this, okay? And when I start escaping my hips, you see how my hip comes out? I create too much space here. So he can start posturing up or pulling his elbow out, right? So there's too much space. What I do want, what I wanna do instead is I'm here, my leg's gonna come straight up and now I'm gonna pivot and make my leg heavy, okay? So I'm gonna turn my head like it's, like it's the hand on a clock. Okay, so I'm gonna be here, my leg comes straight up, and now watch how I turn my head, and I put my heel very, very heavy, as high as I can on my partner's armpit. So now when he goes to try to posture up, it's really hard. If he tries to put in his weight into me, if he tries to put his weight into me, it's really difficult, okay? So from here, I have a couple options. As his arm's straight, right on the center of my body, if I feel like I have the chance to pass my leg over his head, I can just pass my leg over, okay? or I can start to lock right on his shoulder, okay? When I lock on the shoulder, I like this because it gives me a little extra control and gives me time to really set up the submission, okay? So once I get here, I lock my feet right over my partner's shoulder, I make sure I pinch my knees, and always keeping my heels very heavy, okay? This leg has to be heavy all the time. Now, when I'm ready, I can start pushing his face and I start passing the leg over. If I'm gonna cross my feet, I wanna make sure that I don't cross this leg on top. So I'm gonna cross this leg on bottom. So some people say don't cross your feet. Some people like to cross their feet. If you cross your feet, make sure that this leg is on bottom, okay? So now I can remain heavy right here, breaking his posture. Then when it's time for me to finish, I just wanna make sure his pinky is pointed to my chest and his thumb is pointed to the sky. And now I'm gonna extend my hips, squeeze my knees and bridge and finish the straight arm lock. So one more time, Jacob. So we're gonna be here. If he has a grip, 
I'm gonna start to break his grip. So I'm gonna come here, turn my body, extend my arms and my back at the same time, like so. I'm gonna come to the tricep, okay? As high as I can on the tricep. And I'm gonna start to pull his arm to the center of my body, make sure I lock my elbow and keep this in really tight. So now look, this leg, the same side that I'm controlling his arm, is gonna come to his hip, my foot. And then I, see, I kinda raise my hips up a little bit so that my hip line is behind his elbow and I pinch. So I keep this nice and tight. So if he tries to bring his shoulder out or his elbow out, it's really difficult, okay? Then once I come here, this leg's gonna come straight up and then I'm gonna turn my head and make this heel very heavy, okay? Once I get here, if I feel good, so I have to make sure that this stays heavy, okay? So now it's really hard for him to posture up. If I feel like I can pass my leg over, just pass the leg over, okay? If not, I'm gonna lock right here on his shoulder. Make sure I keep this very tight and keep my heels heavy, okay? So if he tries to posture up, it's really hard for him. So I wanna make sure this stays heavy all the time. Now I can just put my hand right here, push. Remember, if I cross my feet, this leg's the most important leg. Okay, so I don't want to be on my hip. I want to keep make sure that my hip, my hips are flat on the floor. Okay, I'm not going to be on one side. Okay, where this leg doesn't have any pressure. So I want to make sure that my hips are flat, my back's flat. When I pr put my legs over, if I want to cross my feet, this one here is going to be on bottom. If you want to cross, if not, just keep your heels heavy like so. Okay, and flex your toes. Now from here, pinch. Make sure the thumbs up, pinky down, controlling the wrist, and then I bridge and catch the straight arm walk. Guys, this was one of the best breakdowns for arm bars that I ever saw in my life. And there was two things that Giancarlo showed here that caught my attention. And one I had never seen before. So uh, not that I had never seen, but it was a different concept to understand the arm bar. So this thing that he does that he breaks my grip and then he puts the hand behind my traps as high as he can while I still don't have a grip, that made a lot of sense for me. Because many times I see people trying to get the armbar from here and they can't go that high because the person has a very good posture here. And even if they go high, the other guy always pulls and he, they end up losing. So look how he sets up the hand behind my triceps while I don't have grip. So my arm is loose here, look. And now he goes across and he sets up a very good position since the beginning. Another detail that caught a lot of my attention here as well He's like in the very end when he's setting up like his legs and this and that, he put myself in a position that I can move my weight forward because this leg, and I can also not back up because this leg. So he set his both legs so well that I cannot move forward and I cannot move backwards. I think many times you see people do exactly this, but they don't have any tension on this leg and then it's easy for us to move forward or they don't have any tension on this leg and it's easy for us to pull the arm in. So he's really pressing with both legs here, putting completely stuck on this position. So that was a great, great, great breakdown. So oh, thanks so much, Giancarlo. Thanks so much. And guys, uh, Giancarlo just shot an entire structure all about submissions from close guard and doing exactly what he did here, like breaking down every single detail from every single submission. And it's on bggfanatics.com, so it's not there yet, but maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out on bggfanatics.com. Thanks so much, Giancarlo. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Close. it. Thank Close. you.